Hello friends, look at this calculation written on the board. 37.5% of 10072. A huge calculation, right? Because this is not a base quantity and neither is 37.5 a base quantity. Whenever you have base quantities, the calculations become very easy. But in this case, you need to be aware of how percentages are expressed in fractions. Now, once you know that 37.5 is actually a uh, decimal number which can be represented very easily in the form of a fraction then this calculation becomes very easy whenever the given percentage here is a multiple of 12.5 then the calculation is very easy and you can see here 12.5 into 3 is 37.5 so that's what is the first thought that should come in your mind and once that thought comes in your mind the calculation becomes easy 12.5 is actually 8 times. If you do the 8 times, it will become 100. So, if you have 12.5 into 3, that is 37.5, and multiply 37.5, uh, this actually is 12.5 3 times. So, just divide this number by 8 first. You will get 12.5% of this number. So, just See whether this number is getting divisible by 8 or not. 8 ones are 8. So 20 means 8 twos are 16. 47 means uh, 5 times 40. And then 72 means 9 times. So all you need to do now is to multiply 1, 2, 5, 9 by 3 to get to your answer because actually this percentage is 3 upon 8. 12.5 is 1 upon 8. So 37.5 is 3 upon 8. Now, just multiply this and you get to the answer 927, 17, 7 and 3. So, 3777 is the answer of this particular calculation. So, you see friends, knowledge of a very small concept of converting the decimal percentages into fractional percentages and you get to the answer within 3-4 seconds. That's it. 3-4 seconds is the time required. So, 37.5% of any number is actually 3 8 of that number. So, that is why I have cancelled this by 8 and got 1 2 5 9 and then multiplied by 3 to get to the final answer 3 triple 7. Friends, if you like all these videos of you know finding the percentages mentally, then do share it with all your friends who are struggling to improve the speed of calculations and struggling to you know uh, clear the quantitative aptitude exams also. And don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos to come in future.